This is an update on the pavement in front of the NatWest Bank in the Plain. An issue I consider to have strong links with the pavement in front of Wildin Store in the High Street. During 2009-2010, public attention had been focused on the issue of the alleged uneven pavement outside the Wildin Store in the High Street. This controversial issue caused a series of letters in the crap local paper, the Thornbury Gazette. A cowardly U-turn by a previously well-regarded local arboriculturist and the furtive removal of two trees during weather that was severe enough to cause major disruption to other public services. In the early part of 2009, the Town Council had been concerned about an uneven pavement, but not in the High Street, but rather in the plain in front of the NatWest Bank. I reported this in my two-part video about the threat to the High Street Silver Birches posted to YouTube in October 2009. Actually, the Environment Committee of Thornbury Town Council has been very concerned about uneven pavements in the High Street area. Just not about the pavement by the Silver Birches, but rather the pavement in front of the NatWest Bank in the Plain. Here is that pavement that caused so much concern. Sure, there are one or two broken slabs. And those old flagstones are quite weather-worn. And the stone cobbling may be an issue. But all in all, it is not so bad. So no issue with tree roots then. You can see that it was the Environment Committee of the Town Council which was pushing this as an issue in 2009. The Town Council could not repair the pavement. It was the responsibility of the Unitary Authority, South Gloucestershire Council. At the 31st of March meeting, it was recorded that South Gloucestershire Council still had not repaired the uneven paving stones and that the Deputy Town Clerk should progress the matter. At the 12th of May meeting, it was reported that the repair had been put on a minor work schedule. And at the 23rd of June meeting, the feedback from South Gloucestershire Council was that the repair would be a long process because of the age and nature of the paving slabs. Later the same summer, the Town Council's focus shifted to the pavement by the Silver Birches. Another distraction during the summer was the town's relaunch carnival led by Chairman Goldring whose plans for the carnival parade were definitely off message. You see he had designated the pavement in front of the Nat West as the invited guest enclosure and who were his invited guests? Actually two frail old ladies Daphne Ashton plummy broadcaster on Thornby FM as it was then called, Radio for the Holy Community, and Philida Parslow, then Mayor of Thornbury. At the time of the carnival, she was known to be 78 years old. Here is Philida Parslow on that same pavement, and to her left, Tom Goddard, 16, one of her consorts. To her right is Daphne Ashton, equally skeletal in appearance. There are three matters which disturb me about this photo. Firstly, Philida Parslow has with her a consort who is 62 years her junior. Secondly, Philida Parslow is a Quaker, a denomination known for its pacifism, and there she is happily received into her town a military band of the Light Cavalry. Thirdly, she is the key representative of the Town Council, which is campaigning against the allegedly dangerous pavement underneath her feet. Here they are in a different photo. But wait, who is that further over to Parslow's left? Let's zoom in on the first photo. 
It's Claire Fardell, campaigner for the rights of frail old people and against uneven pavements. So three frail old ladies in fact. Quite what Claire Fardell was doing there when, according to Jerry Dicker, the aforementioned local arboriculturist, she had taken a tumble on the pavement by the silver birches, is anyone's guess. Here is how I reported it earlier this year. To me, he sent details of people he claimed to know that had fallen on the alleged uneven pavement, including an unnamed friend, Sue Aitken, she of Thornbury and Bloom, and Councillor Claire Fardell, another anti-Silver Birches local politician. Fardell was the councillor who made the bizarre claim that the trees hid the front of the Wildings building. Fardell is involved in the pensioners' drop-in centre. That's drop-in, not fall over. She also cares about people who have had injuries resulting from falls, apparently. Yet she did not seem to care that the two septuagenarians, Parslow and Ashton, were at risk of falling on the uneven pavement in front of the NatWest Bank. Strange that, considering that both Fardell and Parslow were members of the Town Council's Environment Committee, which had been claiming that the pavement was dangerous and needed to be repaired. I had suggested that, if pavements were really considered to be dangerous, then there should be some kind of warning to the public. If the pavement really is dangerous, because of the tree roots, then why does the council not put warning signs there, until some longer term solution is found? Notice that, when the silver birches were removed, barriers were put up around the area being worked on. Eventually, they also went up around the supposedly dangerous pavement in front of the NatWest Bank. However, the repair was delayed. In March, the ridiculous Safer Stronger Community Group, which had also taken an interest, was told that there was a problem finding a suitable supplier. A week later, the Town Council's Policy and Finance Committee was told that the Conservation Officer for South Gloucestershire Council had thought that some proposed pavement slabs were, wait for it, too grey. You could not make it up. The big problem with barriers and delays is that they become an open invitation to the board of Thornbury, and just as the traffic cones marking dredged mud in Streamside Walk ended up in the stream, So the barriers protecting the public from the uneven NatWest pavements got pushed over. Luckily, Thornbury Town Centre has CCTV cameras to deter such antisocial behaviour. Eventually, in late July, early August, the worn flagstones were replaced. It gave the bozos of the Safer Stronger Community Group the chance to claim a success and to have a couple of photos on its part of South Gloucestershire Council's website as proof.
Here are the new paving stones, with slightly different hues. Was it worth the wait? I don't know. Maybe. Was the pavement uneven and dangerous before? I am still not convinced. The stone cobbles are still there. Did you notice? Are they not also dangerous? But at least Claire Fardell can view 2011's Carnival Parade from the same location without hypocrisy. Hip hip! Hypocrisy.